Yo, what is up you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Benji and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to roll over an options trade, specifically when selling calls and puts. This is a method that I've been using over the last few months. It has saved my butt in a few circumstances. So I wanna share the information with you guys. A lot of you guys might already know about this, but a lot of you guys also might not. So stay tuned with this video. There's a lot of good information in this one. All right, you guys, so it's no secret I love to sell calls and puts. I've been doing this now for around six months. And in the previous video to this one, I actually showed you guys exactly how much money I've been making pretty much on a weekly basis. And let's just say it's going pretty well so far. I'm looking to start scaling things out from here but it is going very well so far, especially since I am still sort of new to this overall. But one of the ways I like to utilize my buying power in my big portfolio right here is to sell puts. And then of course, with all the different stocks in my portfolio that I have over 100 shares of, for the most part, I like to sell calls in them to earn some extra premium along the way of holding onto the shares and earning dividends along the way and everything else. When it comes to trading options, when you're on the selling side, normally it goes pretty well as long as you set things up in a low risk manner. There's really not all that much risk to it besides you earn a nice little premium, wait until expiration date and then go on with your way and then sell another call, another puts, whether you're using money or, or whether you're using the stock collateral, whatever it might be. But there are certain circumstances that I've came across personally over the last few months for sure. And I'm sure you guys have as well if you guys sell premium. But the direction of things that you thought were gonna go a certain way don't necessarily always go that way. And the option straight can go sort of wrong. And right now I'm gonna show you guys what you can do if this does happen to you. So I'm gonna give you guys a real life example of how to roll over an option play. This is a real life example, this is in my portfolio, and this is an options trade that sort of has been going wrong, honestly. So right here, you guys, this is Foot Locker, it's for a $30 call, and it expires next Friday, or this up and coming Friday, October 16th, it's for one contract. So a while back, you guys, what we went ahead and did is we went ahead on August 21st and sold a call for a $30 strike price that expires October 16th, at the time, Foot Locker was down a lot. Foot Locker was really, really beat up. My average cost for Foot Locker is somewhere around $30. I'll check here in a second. So what I wanted to do is I really didn't want Foot Locker anymore in my portfolio. So what I went ahead and did is I wrote a contract and I sold the premium to someone else for $140. I was able to earn that $140 and pretty much wait until October 16th and see where Foot Locker's price is at. And if Foot Locker's price is above $30, I'm gonna have to sell my 100 shares to someone else for $30 regardless, even if the price is much higher, of course. But for doing so, for writing this contract, I was able to earn $140 a premium, which was pretty good because at the time, you guys, Foot Locker was getting really beat up. I mean, go back on the chart, which we cut in a second here. Foot Locker was not doing well whatsoever. So at the time, this looked like a really good deal. It looked like I was definitely going to be in the winning seat on this one. But what ended up happening was Foot Locker, as of this moment, which today is October 10th, Foot Locker is at $38.22. So again, you guys, that option that I wrote was for a $30 strike price. Foot Locker currently is at $38.22. So whoever bought that option on the other side for me selling it definitely did pretty good because they have the right now to exercise their option at a $30 cost basis, basically. And right now I'm stuck with this call that I sold that's currently 466% in the negative. I'm down $653 basically with this play. So now there's a few different things I can do in this situation and I do ha still have some different options, which is nice. The option number one, I could just go ahead and let this you know, option expire. I will have to give away my shares at $30 a piece. What's good though is I do have an average cost of $29.73 for the 100 shares. So I still am in a profit overall, which is always good to see. It's a very small profit. 27 cents per share profit so nothing crazy but it is profit so in that case i'm not really all that screwed honestly uh and of course i did also earn the 140 dollars of premium so put that on top of you know the average cost basis if you will so overall i still would be in the green if i did just let this expire now the other option that i could do is i could go ahead and try to buy to close this so right now i click on the option so right now I click on the option and I can go in here to the limit price and see how much it would cost for me at this moment to buy to close this play. So right now you could probably bid somewhere in the middle, they say around $7.95. So that would cost me $795 to close out of this option and then to get back my 100 shares of Foot Locker. So now if you take that in consideration, the $795 minus the $140 that we did earn, we're still at a loss of $653 basically. 
So overall, with this play, if we bought to close it as of this moment, we would get back our shares. And again, you guys, we get back our shares, and then we could, of course, sell them. And they're still worth a lot more right now because we bought our shares at 29.73, and we could, of course, sell them all, you know, on the open market for 38.22 a piece or whatever it might be on Monday. Um, you know, when the market does open, so that is really a decent option. But let's do the math here. So again, to recap, so far on this trade, we were able to earn $140 in premium. We would, of course, so have to spend around $800. Let's just say $800 to close this out. So that brings us to $660 in the hole. But even if we did buy to close that, you guys, right this second, we would still be able to make a little bit of profit because right now if we bought to close that and we got all of our shares back, we could just go on the open market and sell off all of our shares currently for $848.93. Now you guys might be saying, well, of course you had to pay a lot to buy to close it, but I still will be making a small little spread, a little bit of a profit if we do go ahead and go that route. Now in certain circumstances, this might be a decent route to go because you know you just pay the buy to close cost, whatever it might be. In this case, it looks like it's gonna be around $793 or somewhere in that range, let's so just say 800. And then of course we can just get our shares back and then sell them off for $848.93, make you know $48.93 or something of profit and just get rid of the locker, get rid of the options trade and just move along with our way. That is of course one way to exit a trade that is going wrong. Now you guys, the next options we have with this trade is we can of course roll it over, which is pretty cool. This is a method that I use pretty often actually. Again, same circumstances, we would have to buy to close this for around $800. We already got paid 140, remember? So now we're at $660 in the hole. So now we have our shares back. We're still 660 in the hole. So let's go ahead and try to sell another call and see what we can make out of this. So remember you guys, the last call that we sold was for a $30 strike price. So theoretically, anything above a $30 strike price, we'd be pretty happy with, wouldn't we? Because really the higher our strike price is when we're selling calls, the more we're gonna get paid per share if the option does exercise. So let's go ahead inside the expiration date box and window and let's stretch this out to a bit further. Let's see how much money we can make if we just hold on to this play a little bit longer, roll it over into a further expiration date and into a higher strike price. So right here, let's choose this one right here, November 27th, for example. So now November 27th, let's scroll down here and let's see how much money we can make by doing something like this. So for starters, you guys, if we went all the way down to $30 where we are at right now, we would get paid $860 for, for selling this call at the same strike price with just a further expiration date. So now again, you guys, let's do the math. In the previous options trade, we had to spend $800 to buy to close it to get our shares back. But of course, we got paid the $140 of premium up front. So that gives us at a $660 you know, cost basis in the hole, which if we did this, if we roll this over to a further out expiration date and sold a brand new call, this is a brand new contract to someone else, this one would give us $860, you guys. It is still at the same strike price, keep in mind. You guys could choose whatever one you want, of course. I'm just going out the example at the same strike price. But this is just a way to roll things over, give the option some more time, and still earn some nice premium along the way to do so. So now let's say we're at 660 in the hole, we get paid 860, so now we're actually $200 in the profit again. And so now you guys might say, well, what about if November 27th comes about, and you know Foot Locker is still way above $30 of a strike price? Well then at that case, of course, you'd have to either roll it over again or get creative with it. And you can just keep doing this really forever as long as it makes sense, as long as the profit is there. And I have done this multiple times with different stocks, you guys. Of course, there's different options when it comes to this. You can let it expire. You can buy to close and sell the shares. Or of course, when it comes to selling a call, you can just roll it over into a further expiration date and a change the strike price or keep the strike price exactly the same. So this is a method that I've been using for a while, you guys. And what's cool is, again, when you're on the selling side of premium, it just goes to show that there is so much flexibility with the trades, with the plays. And that's why I really, really love selling premium. It, it almost feels like there's no way to fail. Of course, let's say a stock like Foot Locker or like Apple or like Tesla, whatever you were doing this with, let's say the stock just went to zero or let's say, you know, something bad happened. Well, then, yeah, of course, there's going to be some issues there. But for the most part, when you're trading, you know, rectable stocks and, you know, they're not going to go to zero and they're kind of stable-ish and they're decent companies, you can really make and finagle plays like this and have time on your side and keep stretching things out as long as you need to to make the profit work for your play. So I do hope that that helps you guys see some different options when it comes to trading options, specifically selling premium, selling calls and puts. I've been using some of these strategies over the last few months, you guys, and it has, like I said, saved me in a few situations. Overall in the portfolio, I am currently in a few situations where I am in those right now. So I'm kind of thinking like the Foot Locker one, like I just showed you guys, 
I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it yet. I'm probably going to wait and see until how next week plays out and see where Foot Locker's price is at. But most likely what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it over into a further out expiration date and just keep holding on to the Foot Locker in the meantime. But if this video did provide any value to you guys, please, please smash the thumbs up button. Leave any comments or questions down below. I'll make sure to get back to you guys. If you guys, want, if you guys want me to go more in depth on any of these strategies, let me know down below, of course. And make sure to subscribe if you guys want to follow along with my daily videos in the stock market. I will show you guys all the stocks I buy, sell, the options I trade, and much, much more. Again, thanks so much as always for stopping by, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.